can an irrational number raised to an irrational number be rational? And this is a fascinating question if you've never thought about it. And it turns out the answer is amazingly yes. And I know what you're thinking. How do you prove it? So let's dive into the proof right away. First of all, I'm going to be assuming, I'm going to be assuming that you know that square root of 2 is an irrational number. Square root of 2 is irrational. If you do not know this, there is a classic, very elegant proof that square root of 2 is irrational by assuming that square root of 2 can be written as irreducible fraction p over q, such that p and q are integers, and deriving a contradiction from this fact. But that's for another video. And if you're interested, I highly recommend you look it up. Anyway, so I'm going to operate under the assumption that you know this fact. And now let's consider the number square root of 2 raised to square root of 2 power. Now there are two ways of going from this. First way is that maybe square root of 2 to square root of 2 power is rational. And in this case, we have an irrational number. So square root of 2 is irrational, raised to an irrational power, and we got a rational number out of it. So in this case, we are done. In this case, we have shown that irrational to irrational can be rational. But you may say, what if it's irrational? What if square root of 2 to square root of 2 is irrational? In this case, what do we do? Well, in this case, we know this entire thing. We know this entire thing is an irrational number. And now let's raise it by another irrational number, square root of 2. So in this case, we are taking the entire irrational number, raising it to irrational power, and see what happens. And we get, when you raise it to square root of 2, we get square root of 2 to the power of square root of 2 times square root of 2, or 2, and of course, square root of 2 squared is 2, which is rational. So we have shown that irrational to irrational power gets us rational in this case as well. So we're done. But this may irritate you just a bit. It's extremely beautiful and it's very simple. But you may say, uh, sure, we, we have proven what we wanted to prove, that there exists an irrational number raised to irrational number that's rational. But we don't really know if square root of 2 to square root of 2 power is rational or irrational. And this may be bothering you because we did not come up with a concrete example of two numbers, two irrational numbers, that has to be rational. And in fact, square root of 2 to square root of 2 using advanced tools can be proved to be irrational. So square root of 2 to square root of 2 power is actually irrational. In fact, it's also transcendental. But this is out of the scope of this video. So you may say, although the reasoning in the proof was elegant, I want to see. I want to see a more constructive proof. I want to see a proof that gives a concrete example of two irrational numbers that's rational. And I'm going to show you one right now. Consider square root of 2 raised to the power of log base 2 of 9. We know square root of 2 is irrational. So we are raising irrational number. So that's irrational 2. And we are going to show this right now that log base 2 of 9 is also irrational. So we are raising irrational number to irrational power. And let's prove this. So let's say log base 2 of 9. So let's, for the moment, let's assume that it's rational. And we are going to show that that leads to contradiction. So let's assume that log base 2 of 9 is rational or that log base 2 of 9 can be represented as a over b such that a and b are integers. So in this case, we know 2 raised to a over b gets us 9, also known as, this is telling us that 2 to the a power is equal to 9 to b power. Raising both sides by b power gets us that 2 to the a is equal to 9 to the b. And because log base 2 of 9 is positive, we know a and b can be assumed to be positive integers. So we have 2 to a positive integer being equal to 9 to a positive integer. And obviously, when you multiply by 2 a bunch of times, you're going to get an even number. And when you multiply by an odd number, when you multiply by 9 a bunch of times, that's going to be odd. So we have an even number being equal to an odd number. And obviously, that's a contradiction. 
So log base term 9 has to be irrational. It cannot be rational. So we know we have irrational number being raised to irrational power and realize that square root of 2 is also 2 to the 1 half. So we have 2 to the 1 half times log base 2 of 9 or 2 to the log base 2 when we put the 1 half inside the logarithm it's going to become a power. So 9 to the 1 half power also known as square root of 9 or 3 and 2 raised to log base 2 of 3 the exponential function and logarithmic functions are inverses. So it's going to get us a rational number in the end, namely 3. So we have an irrational number raised to irrational number that's rational. So we have a concrete example of two irrational numbers that's rational. So let's go all the way back up. Let's read the question again. Can an irrational number raised to an irrational number be rational? Once again, the answer is yes.